17 years. Now, we've, we've talked about this probably for each series you, yeah. you've come on, you've uh, chatted. Yeah. For the first time, I didn't realise that it was only supposed... You were supposed to do just the pilot. Yes, yeah. We were, we were the property experts that were got in to do the pilot, which was non-transmittable, thank God. Because... <laughs> And luckily, I don't think that can ever be altered. <laughs> it must exist Too many release somewhere, forms. though. What? <laughs> but 17 years is a really, really a long, long time, time yeah. isn't it? I mean, that is that uh, is a sign of a true friendship for you to, yes. to have been able to, to put up with each other for that long. Um, I know, and I'm very tolerant, and he's very lucky. <laughs> no, he's amazing. I, mean, I, you know, we really... I spoke to him this morning, you know, about something, and... I, w I was reminded, as I so often am when I, I chat to Phil, he's just a nice person. Mm. He's a devoted dad, he's a v devoted husband, he's recently moved to the country and he's all about his chickens and his sheep at the moment, obsessed. Uh, he thinks he's very funny because there's a, a chicken called Kirsty because it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> telling everyone this. Tell so do you bicker? Um, not really. We we sort of we do bicker in the sense that you know we we someone said something very interesting the other day. We are very different personalities and very similar characters. Mm. Mm. We at, at, at the at heart we have exactly the same things that are important to us, which makes working together much easier. Because if either of us want to prioritise getting home or something that involves the kids, there's no resentment about that at yeah. all. Um, but we are very different personalities. So does it frustrate you that you are constantly in the eyes of the media seen as being romantically involved? It, well, it, it doesn't frustrate me, it just amazes me. And it's really funny Do because... you still get that? A lot. We get it a lot. And, it, and, and Phil really put his foot in it the other day because we were doing an interview and, and he, he said, oh, yes, because the other day Kirsty got locked out of her room so she rang me and said, would you let me in? And so I did and I came in and she cleaned her teeth and then when we left the room I... I took her bag for her because he's a real gentleman, Phil. And he and then he said it was so funny because we got odd looks. One newspaper went with Kirsty and Phil forced to deny uh, rumours of a romance. <laughs> and I was like, you know, uh, I mean, the awful thing is, and it, it seems mean to say this because I love him so much. He is no more my type than I am his type. We his wife Everyone's is dis disappointed. Nation, nation yes, size. I know, but, but <laughs> people, I know, but you know. Um, but so, so that's the program. That's that's on tonight. Yes. Um, but in the meantime, yes. your other love is obviously crafting. Craft, yes. And you've got the homemade fair. Yeah. And this is in its third year. I was really shoved into it. I thought I'd be a spectator, watching and talking about other people making things. And the producer said, "No, no, no. You have to make things too." I was yeah. like, "What?" And so. That was my personal experience of suddenly being forced to do things and s discovering I could do them. Mm. So you know that thing in school where you're told you're rubbish at everything? Mm. And then suddenly you discover you're not. And it's a really wonderful feeling. So the thing about the fair is it's very uh, about involvement. So there are classes and you can learn to do different classes. There are talks about crafts, about people who set up craft businesses. And I don't... I, I just don't want it to get too big because I want everyone to be able to come and feel they're having 14, quite an intimate day out. Went last year, didn't they? Was it fourteen thousand people over 14, three days? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I was outside. I counted so, them all. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I would suppose because less and less is being taught in schools now. Yes, which is very that, that some of the parents who bring their kids there will be the first time that they've probably seen what you can do with crafts. Well, there are, there are all sorts of things that. So we try and have new things every year, and some of the old favourites come back. So we've done everything from, you know, paint techniques to ribbons to wicker work to making a lampshade. To... And what's the best bit of the day for me is at the end of the day when you see everyone walking out with the thing they've made. Like last day of school. Like last day of school. It really is. And it's such a lovely feeling and, and everyone looks like they've had a fun day out. Mm. And invariably, they've got things they've bought as well. And, you know, we did have a whole thing about that, is because it's not a shopping thing, but a lot we have two tents of shopping, which is like small craft companies. Yeah. And we really select those very carefully. So they're sort of purchases and and things they've made themselves, which is a very nice combination. Well, it sounds absolutely lovely. You occasionally, when people walk out, look at it and go, oh, dear God, what have you made? <laughs> no, More Phil. effort. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. You know, there were times at five o'clock in the afternoon when I was still in my dressing gown, not having brushed my teeth, not having had a glass of water, much less a cup of tea, past my lips, with a never-ending stream of people. 
and uh, mm. you know, you try, you say, please wait a second. Oh no, 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 this has to be done. I mean, I, I used to say, I'm sorry, I'm not. This is not Piccadilly Circus. I'm not a mascot in the middle of Piccadilly that everybody comes and slaps. Just stop it.